Modigliani Miller approach this is one of the capital structuring theory this approach advocates that value of firm is not affected by the capital structure and the average cost of capital is also not affected by capital structure but this approach has an assumption that there are no corporate taxes and there are no transaction cost so under mm approach the value of firm is equated with a pi so have a look at here the value of firm is pi and it is not affected by debt or equity presence have a look at the second pi here the debt component is more equity component is less whereas in the first pi equity is more debt is less so let whatever be the component or a composition of a pi what is important is value of firm which is the value of pi and it is not affected by presence of debt or equity so this is the fundamental substance of mm approach the mm approach says value of levered firm is equal to value of unlevered firm levered firm is something which has debt mix whereas unlevered firm has only equity so the mm approach basically says if a value of levered firm is higher than the value of unlevered firm or vice versa it will be compensated by an arbitrage process so there is nothing like one value or one firm having higher value and the other firm having lower value it will reach a balance through an arbitrage process let's take an example to understand let us take a case where value of levered firm is more than the value of unlevered firm this mm approach says that if value of levered firm is higher than unlevered firm then there will be an arbitrage process wherein the value of levered firm will come down and value of unlevered firm will go up and there will be a even point we'll take this example there are two firms n and m having same earnings before interest and tax that is ebit of rupees 20000 firm m is a levered company having a debt of rupees 1 lakh at 7% rate of interest the cost of equity of n company is 10% and of m company is 11.5% find out how arbitrage process will be carried on in the given example we have firm n which is unlevered and firm m which is a levered firm which has debt content to the extent of 1 lakh at 7% let us jot down the key information in the question there are two firms namely n and m ebit of both the firms are 20000 debt component is present only in the firm m which is 1 lakh the cost of equity for the firm n is 10% whereas for the firm m it is 11.5% and cost of debt is applicable only for the firm m which is 7% now let us find the value of equity which is s and how it is calculated it is basically earnings before interest minus interest divided by cost of equity so let's calculate for the firm n first they have earning of 20000 they don't have debt so no interest so 20000 divided by 10% the value of firm n that is value of equity of firm n is 2 lakh now we'll see for the firm m it is calculated as ebit minus interest yeah they have loan of 1 lakh at 7% so 1 lakh into 7% 7000 20000 minus 7000 divided by the cost of equity is 11.5% and it works out to 113043 so now let us calculate the value of the firm n which is nothing but s of n that is only the value of equity is the value of firm n which is 2 lakhs whereas the value of firm m is value of equity plus value of debt and it is 1 lakh 13043 plus debt of 1 lakh here the value is 2 lakh 13043 now look at here both the firms had the same level of earning whereas the value of unlevered firm is 2 lakh and value of levered firm is 2 lakh 13043 
here the value of levered firm is higher than the value of unlevered firm now this is what argued in mm approach that value of levered firm if it is high because of the capital structure there is nothing like that because it can come down and value of unlevered firm can also go up because of an arbitrage process so let us understand the arbitrage process m is a levered company let's say you are holding 10% shares in m the levered company it means 10% on 113043 meaning you will be having investment of 11304.3 now this investment will fetch a 10% return and that return is on profits it is 20000 minus 7000 that is 13000 multiplied by 10% you will get a return of 1300 by having shares in m the levered company in our example m the levered company had high value whereas n the unlevered company had the low value now to test this arbitrage process let's say this 10% investor who is holding 11304.3 at its market value is going to sell in the market and realize 11304.3 now he should borrow 10000 to acquire 10% debt at 7% so the total resources available with this investor now is 10000 which has been borrowed plus 11304 which have been realized by selling the stake so with this 21304 he should invest in yen for 10% stake which is 10% of 2 lakhs so how much he would get he would get 20000 now this 20000 would give him a return of 10% on profit what is the profit profit is 20000 into 10% and it is 2000 but this 20000 investment had not come free because he had borrowed 10000 so this return has a cost so the cost is 10000 multiplied by 7% and it is 700 so here the return is 2000 and the cost is 700 so the net return is 2000 minus 700 and it is 1300 now this return is as same as return that was earned in m So apart from that there is also a surplus of 1304 with him how he got the surplus it is 21304 minus 20000 so by moving from m to n the investor's position as actually has improved or it has even become better because he is getting the same return as he got in m apart from that he is also having a surplus of 1304 so his position has become better now so this is how the arbitrage process works and the value of the firm because of the debt and equity component has not affected are you struggling in understanding financial management concepts like time value of money financial ratio analysis cash flow analysis fund flow analysis cost of capital and capital structuring decisions capital budgeting and working capital management then this course is for you financial management a complete study one of the comprehensive course in financial management at the most affordable price with lifetime access explore and enroll now